Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is interfere, please. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 32 verses 10 and 11. Now therefore, let me alone and do not interfere so that my anger may burn against them and that I may destroy them and I will make of you, your descendants, a great nation. But Moses appeased and entreated the Lord his God and said, Lord, Why does your anger burn against your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? In our anchor scripture, Moses had on the command of God gone up a mountain and had lingered in the presence of the Lord for a longer time than the children of Israel expected. When they got tired of waiting for Moses, they resorted to idolatry and other things that really angered the Lord. God was angry with them naturally. And he said to Moses, let me alone. Do not interfere. Allow me to destroy these stubborn people who continue to do the wrong things. The Bible records that Moses interfered and interceded for the people. Today, I want to speak about interfering. Sometimes we get warnings about people through dreams, through words of knowledge, or one genuine spiritual medium or the other. Or we hear, for instance, that a person is sick or in a dire situation. What do we do with the information that has been given us? I love the man Moses. He was always, always interceding and interfering with negative spiritual plans. Once he got wind of them, he would entreat the Lord, even when he was angry with the people himself. It is a heart of love that will interfere and intercede. As sensitive believers, information will come to us sometimes about others. Please don't just get up from the dream and walk away or ignore the nudging. Pray. Stay in the place of prayer for your brother or your sister. You can change the course of a person's destiny spiritually through your prayers. I know this because verse 14 of our anchor scripture says, After Moses' intercession, the Lord changed his mind about the harm which he had said he would do to his people. When next you get that nudging, when next you get that information, when next you have that dream about someone, Please interfere with the spiritual current. Intercede, pray, turn things around with the power of your prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. Today, Father, we receive the grace to be intercessors and to be sensitive in the spirit to pick signals that you send. Receive all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.